Hey class, um, this video is for my all virtual students. Good morning, it's Thursday. Um, <clears throat> your work basically today is catch up and work on the things that you need to finish from the week as well as any other missing work. So go into your modules, of course. And today, you are gonna go to your calendar first, okay? I'm under week six, review all virtual students calendar, click it. So you've already done hopefully the work for Monday, Tuesday, hopefully I saw you on Zoom. And Thursday right here we'll have this video and it literally says slow down day, catch up on missing work. So if you have not finished two online ready lessons on your own pathway. If you have not finished your inference handout from um, the characterization on Shiver and Stranger in the Woods, as well as the Monday part, reading Thank You Ma'am and answering those questions and finishing part four of the last module for the Prince and the Pauper inside of your ready book and you submit it maybe picture or you submitted it on text entry, um, and that was 56 and 57 in your ready book, please go back, check this calendar and work on the work that you need to get accomplished for this week. So literally you're taking today, kind of pausing, going back into power school, going back into Canvas, making sure that you've gotten all these things done and you are working on those items that you should have been doing. So today is just kind of a pause, reflect, stop, Let's work on missing work. My students face-to-face -face are doing the same thing. Tomorrow I will let you know that it's Friday and there will be a lesson six part five. So it's going to be, I think, on page 58, 59, and 50, 60 in your ready book. And it is an assessment, but instead of doing it in your ready book, you are going to do it on Canvas, but I can you can read the story on inside of your book and then answer the questions on canvas it's a multiple choice assessment and it will be a test okay um this will judge how far along in your understanding on how the elements of a story work together your understanding of setting plot characterization theme etc um, there will also be a two column notes part there'll be two different ones you can click on the one that you want to use there's one that has more help given for you and there's one that has more work um, and so you can really deeply understand for yourself and so you'll just pick one and share that with me but that is tomorrow so you can know where we're going but today really for you guys stop reflect pause think about what you need to get done get your missing work done cement all those things have a wonderful Thursday